So what are the best labels to get for your spirits brand? Right now we're in the process of changing our labels and I'm gonna walk you through them. So my name's Jason, I'm the master distiller here at uh, Tropical Distillery in Miami, Florida and we make liqueurs. So right now we're going, we're changing from a paper label, a paper-based label. This is called, I believe it's a number 70 felt, I think they call it. So it's paper-based and we're switching that to uh, what's called like a white BOP, B-O-P-P. -P. You can see them side by side right here. The first thing that I wanna draw your attention to is so this bottle has been sitting in our tasting room for at least a few weeks now. And you can see, if I turn the bottle on its edge there, not really sticking anymore. There's still, it's still sticky right here, but um, both sides, it's kind of peeling up. So part of that issue is these particular bottles that we got from China were a rather horrendous batch. Um, the whatever they use for a mold release compound prevents prevented our labels especially these uh, the, the neck labels prevented them from sticking on really well so each one we had to like kind of clean off the neck to get the, the tamper strip to actually adhere but you can see that back label is not so bad I mean still kind of peels up pretty easily but Again, that's just, that is unacceptable. This is the newer one. So this has been on again for a few weeks. The edges are down, same, uh, same batch of bottles, but edges are nicely down. Again, so there's a matte finish on here. So, and also there's kind of, it's kind of, uh, textured to look like paper. It's like, this is like actually a heavier material, whereas this is like much lighter, um, like a roll of 1500 labels of this newer stuff. This newer one right here is actually about 500 grams. It's like uh, over a pound lighter. So it saves a lot of shipping and it's like actually smaller. So, you know, uh, more room on our shelves to actually stack them. I put a couple bottles in here just to, see like one has the old paper label one has our newer label on them and just to see because like one of our major complaints that we that we were seeing from customers out in the field is that when they would put them in a cooler not sponsored by yeti although we should be is like in a cooler full of ice when the water starts to contact the label it would start uh, wrinkling and then basically falling off because uh, this paper this paper label starts absorbing water whereas our newer label does not. Um, also, the newer label is a fraction of the price of the, of the newer one. So we did get some pushback from some people, like uh, one of our designers said like, hey, uh, you know, this newer material that you're moving towards is not as premium as the, the white felt paper label and you know, I don't think it re really represents the, you know, the premium nature of your brand. And you know, my, my response to that was basically to show him proof is in the pudding. Like the, the peel, it's peeling up. I'm gonna spill a little coffee liqueur onto here. So if you can see that, it's soaking up liquid and streaking down. So, you know, when you have spills down the, the side of the bottle as you, you know, eventually would, it piles up. And because it's, because it's paper, it absorbs it. Whereas this newer one, I'm gonna do the same thing here. So let it sit there for a little bit. Again, same coffee liqueur that's in here. And we'll give these both a little dab here. Uh, 
You see the absorption on that? And then none on this one. Again, this newer label, a fraction of the price. Uh, looks better, it's still stuck on here. This label, because it got wet, is, is curling up even more than it was before. And I'm gonna really show that to you from what's in here. So I've had two lychee bottles in here, one with our, our new labels and one with our old labels. And it's been sitting here for about three hours and it's cooler full of ice and water. So I'm gonna open it up. So, old label. See it's wrinkling up here. Label's completely waterlogged, front and back. Tamper strip as well, just kind of lifts off. Not doing well at all. And then, let's check out our newer one. Hasn't lifted off at all. Still on there perfectly after three hours. Something really important to look at when you're choosing a label for your spirits brand. I'm not saying that the, the paper label is a bad thing. If you are like a premium bourbon or single malt scotch or something like that, you might want to look at having a paper label. But um, if you're going to be like uh, a brand that you want to stick in a cooler to cool down, like we found our consumers doing, then you want to go with something that actually sticks a little better to the bottle. Talking to our label supplier with a, with a paper label, uh, they said because just because of the material, the glue options were limited, whereas with this other material, this other material had like far more options for glue. So basically, you know, we got the one that would stick on there the best. That was basically our criteria is, you know, we're gonna be sticking this in a cooler filled with ice water and we want the label to stick on. And here we are, three hours later, still perfectly on there. So just something to think about when you're choosing a label design for your own spirits brand or something to look at when uh, you're purchasing a bottle of spirits out there. If you have any experience with like issues like this let me know down in the comments below and hit subscribe and um, i'll be talking more about stuff like this in the future so i will see you later